Hello everybody, welcome back, another AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM teams, and today I'm gonna show you why I think this is the best AI video generation app, platform, tool on the market, and it's not even close. All right, now I realize that it is quite a thing, it's quite a claim to say something is the best in the market, but let me back that up here. Here we go, so I'm logged in. I'm gonna show this all to you in a second here, but I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna click on more, and then I'm gonna click on video generation. Watch this here. When I click on this little down arrow, you'll see here that you get access to not one or two, but you get access to seven state-of-the-art AI video generation models, AI video generation labs. It's all in here. It's absolutely wild. Let's go through them in order. WAN 2.1, that launched yesterday. And I've got a tab open here. This one here, it says about 16 hours ago it launched. It was in chat LLM teams last night within a couple hours of launch. That's how fast, that's how good they are over there at Abacus AI. WAN 2.1, it's brand new, it's in there. Hiluo AI, Luma Labs, Runway ML, Hunyun Video, Kling AI version 1.6. Google VO2, it's all in here. VO, VO, I guess, yeah, we'll say VO. It's all in here, guys. The state of the art, the best of the best. You don't have to choose one model or two models or choose a platform. It's all in here. Plus, while I got you here, you get access to everything else as well. You want to do AI image generation? Guess what? They got Flux, Imogen, Dolly 3, Recraft, Ideogram. They're all integrated in here. This is the best tool on the market. I honestly believe that. Let's take a look at some of the AI video generation. Here we go. All right, the next step's an easy one. Head over to their website, advocates.ai. Links in the description below. And then I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on chat LLM. There's a couple places you can click. I'll click up at the top. You'll see here that it opens up a new tab and you'll also have seen that it said code LLM. That means you get free access to an AI code editor on top of everything else. It's absolutely insane what they give you here at uh, Abacus AI. Anyways, if you have an account, click on sign in, of course. If you don't, click on get started. One quick note here, it's $10 per user per month. I mentioned that because ChatGPT is $20 per user per month, and you get access to everything you can imagine inside Chat LLM Teams. It's insane. I'm going to click on sign in, and now let's get started. All right, here we are. We're logged in. It's game time. Here we go. So the first thing I like to do is I click on this little down arrow, and the reason why is I just like to take a look at all of the large language models. Look at this here. They've got Claude Sonnet 3.7. They've got O3 Mini High. This is all state-of-the-art stuff. DeepSeek R1. I mean, DeepSeek V3. It's all in there. If you're interested, take a look around. It's crazy. For now, though, we're going to do some AI video generation. So here we go. We're going to click on more. And then under more, you're going to see video gen. That's the one we want. And now watch this here. The next thing I like to do, I'm going to click on this little tab here, this little arrow. And we're going to select one of the seven state-of-the-art AI video generation models. I want to start with WAN 2.1 because that's brand new. So here we go. There we go. I've added that in. I'm going to add in a prompt. I'm going to make it a nice simple prompt. French Bulldog. Ah, come on, Curtis. French Bulldog and Curtis Bulldog reading a book. There we go. Something like that. I'm going to turn on modify the input prompt for improved video generation results. The reason why I do that is because my prompts are pretty basic, but I love letting the computer, or more accurately, the AI, add in some stuff there, add in some details, come up with some ideas. It's kind of fun. So there we go. Now we can select the resolution. It defaults to 480, but let's go with 580. I like the higher resolution. It takes a little longer to to create, but no big deal. And then aspect ratio, we've got 69 and 916. These are the limitations from WAN 2.1 at the moment, but these are the two best aspect ratios because 916 is vertical, and that's great for TikTok shorts and YouTube shorts. 69 is great for widescreen AI videos like YouTube, Facebook, etc. I'm going to click on generate. I'm going to come back when it's done, show you what we got. And we'll look at a few other models while I got you. All right, welcome back. So let's take a look at what we got here. Remember, this is WAN 2.1. This is brand new, and it's already in chat. LLM team's crazy. Let's go ahead and increase the size here. And presto, let's hit play. we got a French bulldog reading a book. And look at that here. Now, you're probably looking at that and going, hey, does that bulldog have hands? No, it's clearly sitting on somebody's lap here. And if you're not sure how good an AI model is or a video generation model is, count the fingernails. One fingernail, two, three, four, five. Perfect. This is a fantastic video. And by the way, that French bulldog looks exactly like my French bulldog, almost scarily so, because my French bulldog, Kingston, has a white stripe right down the middle. I could not love that video more if I tried. Also, 
I'm going to click on this I here, and the reason why is you'll see here that it, got, it went ahead and it added in a little bit more information to my very basic prompt. So there we go. And if I want to keep this and I want to use it, just click on download and presto, it's done. This is just one of seven state-of-the-art models. Let's take a look at another one here. All right, so now I want to take a look at another AI video generation model. They got seven of them. Let's keep cooking here. So the first thing I like to do is I like to click on this new chat button here. That way I can keep all of my generations in their own separate chats. Also, you can click on toggle sidebar. So if you ever want to go back and look at a previous generation, feel free to go ahead and do that. Here we go. I'm going to click on more. Then I'm going to go to video gen. Under video gen, this time we're going to go with VO2. Now, for those of you that don't know, VO2 is a new model from Google. In particular, it's from the Google DeepMind group. Really, really, really good group. And uh, yeah, they are killing it on the leaderboards. They are fantastic. Now, I've gone ahead here and done the same thing as before. I entered in my prompt, except you'll notice this one has a little more to the prompt here. Medium shot, shallow depth of field, cartoon character, girl with wavy brown hair, upright 1980s kitchen, etc. I show you that because you can put in simple prompts or, you know, complicated prompts or detailed prompts, doesn't matter, all of them work. In this case, I am gonna go ahead and turn modify the input prompt for improved video generation results off because I really like my prompt here, it's not a simple one. And then here we go, let's just go through the process. Negative prompt, this is for things you don't wanna see in your video. In this case, everything's pretty good in my opinion, so I'm just gonna leave that as is. Aspect ratio, 69 again, which is standard, or 916 for you YouTube and TikTok short types. And then here we go. The last thing though, while I got you, this is important. VO2 allows you to upload your own image to start the image, to start the generation or the uh, animation, so to speak. So for those of you that wanna have uh, animation based off of a picture or based off an AI generation, for example, which you can do inside chat LLM teams, I should add, feel free to do that. I'm gonna click on generate. I'll come back when it's done. Show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. This is with VO2. I'm gonna go ahead and expand it. Let's hit play and take a look at this. Okay, oh my God, this is unbelievable. What the hell, holy smoke. So we did this, this is a five second version, but this looks right out of Pixar. I cannot believe this. Look at the nice brown wavy hair. And then we've got the uh, 80s kitchen. It's got some depth of field there. It's a little bit blurry, out of focus. This is absolutely incredible. I can't believe how good VO2 is. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. I'm going to click on more and I'm going to click on video gen. There's something else I wanted to show you here. Not only can you change the prompt up, but look down here. You can create up to eight second long video. Now, eight seconds is a lot longer than most AI video generators. But when you think about like VO2, for example, that is absolutely astonishingly good video. So there you go. You can do eight seconds and you can create a bunch of them and snip them together. One thing I should mention though, is that it costs a few compute points and I'm gonna explain that to you right now. All right, last but definitely not least, compute points. The VEO2 model or the VO2 model I just showed you, that model uses a lot of compute points. A lot of AI video generation models use a fair bit of compute points and you can just keep a track of them. You keep an eye on them up here. I'm just gonna click up here, then I'm gonna click on profile. And when you do that here, if I zoom in here, you'll see that I've got 184 million tokens and I've used 8.3 million. Now I use a ton of compute points because I used AI image generation. I use the large language models. I top up my account all the time. I'm using this nonstop all day. But everybody gets basically 2 million compute points per month. And that kind of, you know, that kind of breaks down into about 400 high quality images, 50 videos of five seconds long, that's ballpark. And if you're ever not sure, you can always just click in here, take a look and see how many compute points you've used, how many you got left, that type of thing. They will send you a warning as well if you're getting close to the end. So keep that in mind. And if you got to top up, top up. I mean, I use chat LLM for my large language models, for my image generation, my video generation, my PowerPoints, my coding, every single thing I use this for. It's absolutely wild. So I use a lot of compute points, but there you go, guys. There it is. Those are just two of the seven amazing video models in there. You can try it out. Use all the different ones up. Let me know what you think. This app can do it all guys. And it's worth a look. Links in the description. Let me know. Thanks for watching.